Many people have a degree of malocclusion 2 or malocclusion 3, and it means they're unsatisfied with the appearance of their bottom jaw. It's either too weak or it's too prominent. So these facial types are often treated with plastic surgery, which is actually the wrong way to approach this issue. You see, it's never the mandible that's the problem. It's always that the top jaw has failed to grow due to many different reasons. So if you are small here and these bones are back, your mandible has to either hinge in behind it, moving it closer to the neck and pinning it in, or it drops your head because this is too far back. Plastic surgeons have wrongly been trying to cosmetically fix the problem for people by either shaving back a too prominent mandible so it matches with the top jaw better, but you're making this small to meet a small mid-face. We should be addressing this non-surgically and we can do that while enhancing health. When this top jaw is encouraged to either lengthen or come forward and broaden, it enhances where the mandible can meet with it and you've also increased the airway. You're not cutting them down or putting silicon in and ignoring a tiny upper airway.